break, Dean? AKA Street Speed 717's 2019 ZR1 Corvette. He has an event in Pocono this weekend in a few days. He shipped the car back to us after the last event to give it a once over. And to be honest, we were gonna open up the supercharger even more uh, with Greg over at Kong and do what we call like our race port, just kind of go really crazy with it. Uh, sent the blower back to Greg. Once we opened it up and actually looked at the rotors, uh, this car's been through a lot. He's uh, had a lot of different changes in it. He's been racing it a lot. Air filters on, air filters off. And to be honest, the rotors just don't look great, right? So we made the decision, instead of spending all the money and time, I should say, to open this blower up and make it a crazy race port, uh, we essentially just freshened up the blower. Greg put all new bearings in it, new pulley, pretty much just making the blower fresh. Um, and the rotors being not so great, the car's only making like 17 pounds of boost, which isn't bad. It's nice and efficient at that uh, at this blower speed. But essentially, we just kind of did maintenance on it, and uh, the plan is to give it back to him for this weekend. It shouldn't run any faster. Essentially, it should run the same as it did before. It's just freshened up and uh, hopefully he does good, has fun, and after this weekend, send it back for either uh, going with that race port for the blower, or it might be winter time. I don't know, Mike might, might say, man, do something crazy with this thing. So only time will tell, and uh, if you guys watch Mike's channel, uh, you know he'll do uh, just about anything to any car. So we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a quick blast in it transport is literally waiting at the shop to load it up take it to him so we can make it for this race uh it's always a it's always a last minute thing i feel like with his car it's always a hurry up and rush and get it done and let him go racing but uh this one should be okay i only made a i mean hardly any changes on it so we'll just make a quick pull i'm gonna leave traction control on so i know it, the bypass valve and stuff's gonna kind of keep us in check when we first stab it and then hopefully fourth and fifth gear feels good and if it kind of feels like it hooks up we got the nittos on it i might try to turn traction control off that is how he races it at the track i just i really don't like to do that with a high horsepower car like this on the street so let's try third first with traction control on third gear I can feel the bypass valve opening uh, that's which is what these ZR1s do 
for help with the uh, traction control and the traction control lights flashing at you. Um, usually they pull timing as well as bypass valve opens, but man, this thing in fourth and fifth gear screams. Third to fourth shift felt good. Fourth to fifth shift felt really good. Um, and he's been beating on this transmission for quite a while. I know we built it, um, but yeah, it's it's gone through a lot of uh, a lot of events. Oh, and there goes a the Lamborghini. Oh, I'd like to turn around and bust his, you know what? Right, let me pull over, check this log, and then uh, if we get lucky enough, maybe we'll see him out again here in a second. All right, so just looked over the log. Everything looks good. It did spin in third gear. When traction control came on, the bypass valve opened up a little bit at like around 80, 82 miles an hour or so. And then she shut, and I shifted 67, 56, third to fourth, fourth to fifth, 67, 55 and uh, we let out in fifth gear. But yeah, everything looks good. Uh, how's our air temps look? Yeah, air temps are on point, 153 degrees at the end of the pool. Started off at 149, so it's not going crazy high. I think I might try the GoPro 360, I think flipped on us, so I don't know if you'll get any footage of that one. Um, We'll see going back whether I make another rip or not. This car drives so nice. I know if y'all, again, if y'all watch his videos, y'all see him out driving. It's just, it's a fun car to drive. It's not the fastest car in the world. You know, it's not no 12, 13, 14, 15, 2,000 rear wheel horsepower street cars that are on the internet nowadays. But to have a car that makes this kind of power that you can go out and beat the crap out of over and over and over again, man, it just makes it a fun car. Um, but who knows, maybe one day Mike might say, give me 1,500 or 2,000 horsepower. But until then, man, this thing is fun fun car to drive. Yeah, and it's, you gotta be on the right roads to uh, be able to use a car like this too. You know, you gotta have a good tire on it and uh, you definitely have to, you know, be focusing on what you're doing. It's, you don't just wanna have it and drive and just floor it from a certain speed. This thing can get away from you. But leaving traction control on obviously helps tremendously. But when you're at a track like he does, uh, whether it's drag racing or roll racing, traction control off will limit uh, obviously the bypass valve from opening and stuff like that to hit. But at the same time, it also, if you're spinning, you're not winning. So at the end of the day, if traction control on sometimes does help some cars actually run quicker. Um, just because, again, if, if you're spinning really bad, you know, you're not going nowhere. third gear again because that's where he takes off at his events and also second gear is not going to be pretty
gets up to, you know what, pretty quick. I'm not sure of the distance that he races at at Pocono, but y'all see the speeds he goes. And with this arrow on these cars, I and mean, this car isn't built for top speed stuff, you know. It's built for a road course to be going, you know, usually no more than 130, 140 with all the arrow on it. Heading over that, this thing has serious downforce, which is good and bad if you're trying to get a top speed number. But it's good for uh, road racing and then uh, just to have the car have traction on you at that speed, you know. But again, I'm going to pull over, look at the log one more time, which I know it should be the same as last one, and then probably head back to the shop and transport's already there. So if everything looks good, we'll... Uh, We'll give it back to Mike and hopefully he has fun with it this weekend. All right guys, those of you that follow our channel and Mike's channel, y'all know this car has been, I'm gonna call it at this platform, uh, for about a year now, making it roughly around a thousand horsepower. I think it's time for a change. Tag Mike below and let me know what you guys think. Do we either go step one, max effort on this blower, which we can go a little bit more with it, or 1901 with twin turbos on it? Let me know. Why'd you do it all slow? Cause man, make it look good. <laughs>